What's going on guys? Jackson here from Vendetta Sports Media and today I am bringing to you guys a new video series over a game that just dropped, oh at the time of recording, maybe 10 minutes ago. It's called All Quiet in the Trenches. This is a World War I narrative driven story game, however you want to say it, explain it, whatever. Um, I've seen this game, I think I've seen it on TikTok actually is the place that I've seen it before of the developer that was building this game anyway it looks really fun looks very interesting again story driven all quiet in the trenches gives off the all quiet on the western front type vibes but we'll go ahead uh start a new game activate tutorial yes absolutely single save game Ooh, uh, uh no we're just gonna continue so, very excited. Oh, during the First World War, bicycles, similar to the so-called fixies, were very popular. These are bicycles with a fixed gear front wheel mechanism. If you stop pedaling, they break automatically and can therefore also drive backwards. Interesting. Okay, so cool bicycle. Cool, cool little fact there. So let's go ahead and hop in. So the graphics aren't to anything to be crazy about, but I've never been a super graphics heavy guy. Like they need to be peak graphics, uh, very stylized. As long as the gameplay element is there and as long as we're having a good time, uh, I'm perfectly confident in the ability of this game. And I did kind of cheat a little bit. I did watch the demo, someone play the demo. I haven't played the demo itself, but here we go. So lots of reading for me. <clears throat> got my um, Got my cream soda next to me to help me get through this, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. So Monday, March 1st, 1915. I could still hardly believe that a few days ago back home, I had been appointed Unter... Off Unter... I'm, oh, God. I, I am not German, so Unter Officer in charge of this handful of men. And here they were, sneaking through the trenches behind me, not a hundred meters from the enemy positions with heavy packs and dwindling strength. So we got Florian males? Thoughts still seemed to be firmly at home, and he still appeared to be treating this as a short trip. Uh, that's not good. Skills, he's dexterity. Dex dexterous. Dexterity, dexterous, okay. He's also tired, that makes sense. He's highly motivated in morale, that's good. So next we have Kar Menke. Menke, smaller than his comrades, seemed pensive, but alert. Attentive, and he is Oxo. From handling a rifle to applying bandages, many things on his soldier's life require certain dexterity, so he's very, he's got dexterity, nice. In order to be able to react to a threat, first perceive the threat. All right, then we have Wolfgang Khan appeared euphoric and full of energy despite the long march. Okay. So he's not he's not good at one thing, but he starts out with high morale. And again, this is something that's going to be very important in this game. So like the purpose of this game is to essentially you have maybe like a rotational bit of characters in your the officer that's in charge of these four characters complete different tasks and try to get them back home it's 1915 the war ends uh, well technically ends november 11th 1918 so we're still a long ways off from the end of the war do we go to the end of the war who knows uh so and then we have ferdinand cumberbund <laughs> looked small and lost Ooh, he is slow he's clumsy also tentative but he is faltering. Exhaustion, illness, wound healing. Okay, that's that's not great. So he's definitely the weak link. We have to watch out for him. So a pretty decent squad here, I would say. It's, it's fairly even-handed, I would say. Exhausted, we finally found the dugout of Lieutenant Von Karsbrook, to whom we had been assigned. There you are. Herr Unz officer, he greeted me. You seem to have taken your time. Surely you are fit enough to start working straight away. The lieutenant's condescending gaze swept over my men and then rested appraisingly on me. So this is, yes, Herr Lieutenant, my men are tired. Here's the thing. We need to have a good first impression with the officer. I know everyone's tired, but this is the army. This is what you enlisted 
And we have to, you have to show a level of respect to your superior officers. We cannot have insubordination. You can't have regular soldiers and officers getting too close, because then that's going to lead to insubordination. So, yes, Air Lieutenant. It turns the page. Very nice. Yes, Air Lieutenant. I confirm. Regardless of how I assessed our situation, this was not the time to make a bad first impression with my superior. See, there we go. Some of my men look worried, but Lieutenant von Kasselbrook nodded in satisfaction. My... Ad 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 I cannot read. I can't English. I will show you your sleeping quarters. Afterwards, report to me for today's duties. I felt the eyes of my soldiers on my back. Obviously, some of the men resented my lack of concern for their needs. Without so much as another glance at me, Lieutenant von Kasselbrook turned back to the documents on his table. Welcome to the trenches, Herr und Officer. All right, so controls. Click and hold the left mouse button to rotate the camera. I'm pretty sure we can control that with A and D as well. Hmm. We'll see which ones we like better. I kind of like A and D better. Uh, click on the location icon to jump to it and people to talk to them. The exclamation mark marks important conversations. Fair enough. The button, the bottom button at the right leads through all the interactions required for this turn and ends the turn. Gotcha. Okay, so change to good mood. Someone's rations for two days. Respectful. Okay, so, okay. Optimism, tired, and strained. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. Okay. So, oh, we can kind of move it fairly quickly. So we've got Manek here. Her officer. We only have the rations that we took with us. Where are we supposed to get something to eat? Okay. So the current circumstances are indicated by treatment icons, such as weather, such as weather or resources. Okay. This icon shows you your prestige with your superiors on the left and the mood of your soldiers on the right. Okay, so it's fairly even-handed. Okay. The incidents of a turn often change the value of your soldiers. All recent changes are shown at the top right. Change the rations for one day. Sweet. Okay. Someone wants to talk to me. Okay. You're just in time. So this is uh, Lieutenant Von Kasselbrook. I suggest you send the rest of the supply. Oh, I've assigned your group to night watch. Assign a few men to it. I suggest you send the rest of the supply depot. There you will get provisions for the next few days. From now on, managing your group's food supply will be your responsibility alone. That's fair enough. Okay, so projects. I remember seeing this. So in reserve, night watch, and then fetch rations. All right. So I think, let's see. He's optimistic. He's in a he's a good he's physically fit. You are definitely fetching the rations. See, you are attentive. I need I think both of my men or let's see, he's also attentive, but he's so meek and frail. Uh, I think like it feels like almost bad to have him on night watch. But I feel like that's what we have to do here. So is this everyone right here? This is actually kind of dope. I love this feel, dude. The, the vibe of this game already is awesome. We can move with this. And so that, oops, oops, no, go back. Go back, just hit the A button there. That's the headquarters, okay. All right, seems simple enough. Okay, so these are my, my four soldiers. So now let's just, Got everyone assigned, no one in reserve. No one in reserve. I don't think in reserve does anything. Will fail. Risk of injury is double. Okay, so I think we'll be okay. So that would move to Tuesday, March the 2nd. Alright. Rations for day removed. Another communication trench collapsed. Air officer, gather your shovels. Hey, Min, you have to rebuild it as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, did we get the... Okay. 
does it show our... Uh... Did we get rations? I sent people to go get rations, didn't I? Okay, so let's see. I honestly think characters. Yeah, we've we've done this. Okay, so obviously you are physically fit, so you are gonna go. See status. So this is backbreaking work. I'll send the three of you out. He doesn't need to go. I think that's all we can do here. Play will have consequences. Okay, so now we just move on to the next turn. Alright, so this seems pretty simple enough. A few hours ago, the war of artillery had begun. At first, it was as quiet as the rumble of thunder in the distance, but recently it had become steadily louder, more threatened. Suddenly, there was a thud, not 10 meters from the hiding spot where my men were huddled. An artillery shell shredded the dugout of our neighboring troop. Pieces of wood and metal flew from meters, and smoke obscured the view. The noise was deafening for a few seconds, then died away as quickly as it had come. <coughs> Excuse me. An almost eerie, silent gasp of shock passed. Then my men jumped up and pushed aside broken beams in search for our buried, com buried, buried comrades. We found two, from what all help came too late. A third, however, we could still hear. Oh, here we go. First, first event. He was lying with his upper body trapped under the fallen beams. His face was distorted with pain. He was barely conscious. My men stood around him, forlorn, and looked over to me for help. Cumberbund said peacefully, Her und awkward, sir. We must try to help him. Together we lifted the beam from his chest and only now saw the full extent of the damage. His chest looked crushed and his hips strangely twisted. Ooh. A long splinter protruded from his abdomen. Ah! Oh! And his shirt was soaked in blood. Menek shook his head. He's beyond help. A mercy killing would save him and us both miserably. Let us put a swift end or get a stretcher. Listen, man. Let's get him a stretcher. I know it's probably going to spend men to do that, but we're about saving lives here. To an extent, of course. Ooh, heard the screams. Okay, so get a stretcher. I ordered Cumberbund and Menke. I think I was saying his name wrong, but it's Menke. First, I wanted to get him out of this wreckage and then decide whether I would expose my men to the danger of carrying him to the military hospital there. The nurses could determine whether or not how to help him. So take the wounded soldier to the hospital. We are not taking you. Let's see. Yes. So Wolfgang, Khan, you're going. I kind of want to send Menke. Because he was like, ah, no, he can't be saved. But I need at least one perceptive person. Cumberbunt is just such a just such a liability. Let's see here. This is destroyed one of our telephone lines. Struck when you're made to carry this message to the man post immediately. Okay. So deliver the message. We'll send Menke. Cumber Cumberbund over here is slow. Ah, oh, he's gonna be the first one to I'm gonna feel bad because he looks like a young kid. Ah, oh, yeah, see, he's... Let's see what, it's 1915, 15 for now. Oh, his profession is a student of theology. Oh, wow, okay, so we can get, like, detailed notes. No children. He's Jewish? Oh, boy, you better get out of the country in another 20 years if you make it out of the war. <laughs> uh, he's a brewer. He's Catholic. Okay, this is actually really cool. Protestant, school student, unmarried. It's from Cologne. Ah, nice. Alright, another been destroyed by artillery. Now we're missing a well covered position there, and the French have an easy way into our trenches. I'm afraid that if we try to rebuild the position directly at the front line, the French will do their best to prevent it. Oh dear. Okay, so we can't. So we can't do that just yet. And the risk of injury is super high. Maybe we can do that next turn. Because we need to deliver this message and we need to take the wounded soldier back. Okay. So there we go. March 4th. 
Change to under artillery fire. Rations for two days. Change to strain. Oh, that's great. So the wound, the field. Unfortunately, he died. We did what we could. The people in the field hospital too. I guess it was just too late for him. I'm glad we tried. But still oh, that's tough. Ah. You hate to see that. Morale takes a bit of a dip for everyone. So we probably should have sent him back. So let's see. Who is... Negative events. That's tough. So Minke is... And we need to go get rations too, because we, we need the rations desperately. We need a couple days worth of rations. Oh, here we go. Friday, past day, my men and I have been sitting tightly packed in our bunker with a French artillery. Rain down salvo after salvo of death and destruction on us. During the hard work of first days in the trenches, I had found hundred quiet minutes to have a personal conversation with my men. So now, sitting next to me, tense and still mostly strangers, I fervently hope that they would survive the shelling unscathed. The silence between us was a sharp contrast to the constant outside. Then, after hours, the firing suddenly stopped. A sigh of relief went through the ranks of some of the younger soldiers. However, that was the moment when the veterans of the other troops tensed up and began to load their rifles. A uh, cacophony of whistles snapped at us out of our superiors, snapped us out of our stupor as well. The French were attacking with God for Kaiser and Vaterland. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're all about Spain. All right. With God and for Kaiser and Vaterland. I shouted and charged into the trenches. Others joined my crowd. It's like there are, like was, we have Catholics and Protestants now. The Jewish, now the Jewish member of our company, he might have been ah eh about that, but eh. All right, so now we get to actual fighting for the French. Okay, so now we get to a fighting stage. Very common storm lantern from the Furahand Company. Interesting. All right, so the game's saved. That's always good. We need saves. The enemy has superior numbers. We may soon have to retreat from these trenches. Here, oh, sorry. <laughs> to collect and evacuate all the ammunition you can find. If you're to lose this trench, at least we won't lose our equipment. them individually, unless they have been separated from the troop. Pay attention to your allied enemy troops and adjust your tactics accordingly. Okay. On each troop, information about this display. All right. Okay, so we have the alcove and the hideout there. When you click on a character, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. Okay. So here we can search a couple of things. Search the hideout. It's just absolutely drained and tired. More perceptive ones. over there. So then that will be the end of the turn. I think. So their previous actions, they've got all the cover. Collect ammunition and equipment. That is the goal. Alright, so now the next turn. So we search the trenches and we just have to consistently fall back it looks like. Give your troop one command per turn. Rally command causes you to stay at the position. Following commands, you have a position. Advanced tactical movement to retreat. This command also changes the current of your troop. Okay. So we've got some more to talk about. There was still a bit of ammunition and first aid supplies here. So everything I could find. Excellent. Let's also find some ammunition. Alright. My guess is we should probably retreat. Let's see. Let's see. And, and 
They are right there. Oh my. Yeah, no, we are. We are in a terrible spot. How about right there? Okay, so they can still see us there. So we've got a tactical movement right here. So that's honestly like the best course of action right there. So within grenade range, but. Low danger. So this is the route we're gonna go. He's falling behind. Oh! Cover. Everyone. Just exhausted. Alright, so we've collected a point. Tactical movement. It's a tactical movement right here. Let's see what this does. Because we've collected a ton of supplies. Okay. Alright, so we're in a full blown retreat. We're in a full blown retreat. Alright, so let's. A B line. This was the right decision. We went the correct way, I think. So we'll take a little bit of cover on the opposite side of this hill. Light stress remove. Change to wounded. This wound's gotten worse. Can we not? Bandage him up. All right, we can retreat. 
across the creek now, I think. Low danger. Let's get out of here. Right. Of course, the, the slowest one. Cumber, what's his face? Okay. I think what we're going to do... I feel like we definitely need... I agree. I agree. We're gonna give suppressing fire. There's not a lot of cover here. That's what's unfortunate. But we are gonna provide some suppressing fire. We did an excellent job getting to cover. Let's see. All right, this will give us some protection from artillery. We're going to make a tactical movement. We're going to get behind this right here. There we go. Now suppress. Suppressing fire. This is very cool. So our first battle's kind of gone off, I'd say fairly good without a hitch. All right. So we're gonna give a we're gonna give a little bit more suppressive fire. I think we need to get the rest of these men. So that level is complete. Let's get to the next level. Very nice. I can't believe we did it. And only one guy got shot. And it's it's the guy that was probably gonna keep us behind the field kitchen. Okay. First of all, he's got the nickname, the Galashkatnon. Okay, no, not even trying. So it looks like we're behind the front now. That's good news. Get a warm meal and some rest. The explosions, gunshots, and screams still echoed in my ears. We had only been fighting for a few minutes, and yet it felt as if years had passed since this morning. And the everyday life back home a lifetime away. To be in the camp now, safely far behind the front, was surreal. The light-hearted chirping of the birds almost drowned. I lost my place. I was looking at this down here. Yeah, taken. My people lay down exhausted on the grass, surrounded by the boxes of ammunition and equipment, dirtied and bloodied, some still pale and trembling. But soon the angry voice of the lieutenant in the distance abruptly broke. You see him coming on your feet, man. We gotta keep. We gotta keep. Okay, so he looks satisfied. Let's go see the amp is plugged in further soothe. Good job, her officer. He forced out against his visibly blazing anger. Now that, it, now that it was a difficult task, but apparently with this bunch of slobs, you have to be happy if anyone shows even a modicum of competency. Our troops in the best position for a counterattack. But no, the reserve was too cowardly to take advantage of this unique opportunity we had prepared for them, the lieutenant rumbled without prompting. And now, Herr Major accuses me, us, of having abandoned the trench line unnecessarily. A disgrace. We will hold the line, come what may. Yes, Herr Lieutenant. Set up camp. 
Sooner or later, we'll get our chance to pay back the French. All right. Low food supply is removed. So he is in the field hospital, recovering. <clears throat> Set up camp. Okay. Let's go talk to the nurse. Dialogues are an important element of the game. Symbols. Yeah, 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 yeah. Means that certain circumstances could be gone in the next turn. Okay. Dialogues can also have negative effects. Dialogues. That is symbol have no effects. Okay. Ah. You. Come up once with officer. I'm Sister Elizabeth Ritter. I organize our small field hospital. Don't worry, Cumberbunt is doing pretty well. He will soon recover from this one. Honestly, glad you are overwhelmed so quickly. The shorter a skirmish, the fewer dead and wounded. Ah, we'll say we agree, yeah. There are some people in this camp who believe that the war will be decided right here. Complete nonsense. They want fame and glory. As a nurse, I know there's only agony and death to be won here. And she ain't wrong. I was hoping I was hoping Cumberbunch would be here. Cumberbunch. Uh, Father's a craftsman. The parish has always been like a second. Turn thee back in Munster. Or like our like our unit is growing on me. I'm never alone. Okay. Cool. Okay. Who else needs to talk with me? Meet you. Anton Zelinsky, your field cook. I'm afraid I can't cook anything for you right now. Though as your squad has been better contact sure okay so okay right and troops allocate some supplies to your group immediately should last you until your next supply okay the storage is still Logistics officer. Pick up food. Exhausted, exhausted. He's the only one that's not super strained. Okay, we'll just maintain the rations. Okay, so now we move quite a bit further in time. Sunday, March 14th. For days now, he's been sitting next to his comrades every evening without a word and with a vacant stare. Let's see, I spoke to him about it, so. Mm. And then he said, Is everything alright with you? Yeah, you know, he seemed surprised that I was asking about his condition so straightforwardly. And then he sighed and replied, Here, Unt Officer, what is this all for? What's the point of us being here? You are defending. I understand your doubts. I gotta be very sympathetic. Reserve. But more and more it seems to be heading nowhere. War comes to an end soon. Ah. Uh. Ah, well. I didn't know he was such a for Fatherland. Latrine fatigue. Ah, oh, I can punish men. That's pretty funny. High prestige. Favorable. Change to tired. Okay. So still in the field hospital. Oh, th I guess this is our replacement. He's an older man. He's a senior teacher's Catholic. Interesting. I've been assigned to your group. 
You and me will show these youngsters what the all god is made of. Won't we? Interesting. Okay. So I guess I'm slacking off. Don't disappoint me. Ask for more work. Accept. Okay. Uh, who's pitched the tents right here at the camp entrance? Name is Marie Roche. I am one of the village elders in our community. Since I can't speak German, I must meet with you between the residents of the village and the soldiers here at the camp. Okay. More people need to talk to me. Double the rations. Alright. Help with digging trenches. Okay. Stories of attacks by ranks and series of our comrades. I'll be fine. Organize some patrols. Okay. Okay. So I'll send you out. Which one of you? Okay. We'll go out on patrol as well. Two, three, four, five, six. Don't want. I've been with. I'm still a bit bruised, but I'm feeling better already. The rest will surely heal soon. Good to you. I'm the new guy, Peterson. All right, so double ration. Stands. So it's feeling good. Status. It's a big eater. Fantastic. He's physically fit. He's tired. Um, I guess he needs to talk to me. Go to the room. Oh, okay, so we need to dig the latrines. Headquarters. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> we'll make the new guy do it. <laughs> that sounds fun. Uh, let's see. Trade provisions. Okay. A bottle of wine. Start of the offensive this morning. Unfortunately, we don't have a chance to land fame and honor just yet. We're in reserve for the time being. We are ready to move out at all times. After all, that is true. Oh, here. Someone else wants to talk to us. Wait a minute. No. Okay. Is that good? Oh, no, it's here. Right, it's Tuesday. Thank you. Officer, Sister Elizabeth C. Tents came out. Please follow me, she motioned. Let me pass the hospital. There's a barren patch of land in a series of shallow ditches flooded in my graves. I heard there's a new offensive coming. Alice turned towards me with a dire seriousness in her eyes and pushed towards the graves. Well, we're going to need a lot more of those. Do you think you could spare some of your men to dig more of them? Of course we will help out. Dick Graves. That is a very depressing job, indeed. Put Cumberbunt in there. Oh, he's exhausted. He's he's still recovering. So we'll put the old guard up there. Side of armed soldier. They have very decently on his patrol. So Khan, okay. Where is Khan? Okay. Good for you, Khan. Behavior in the village. Praise. 
She gives me a little hope. Maybe we can live side by side peacefully. My efforts haven't been in vain. That means a lot to me. Thank you much, Hera Officer. Officer. Okay, so let's move on to the next day. After my due. Could only give out extreme. Something from. I'm gonna explain it to you. They can be upset. My friend will bring me a smile, but quickly cut to the chase. She comes to meet me. Your cannons have been thundering day and night, and the villagers are scared, she explained. Especially the younger children are suffering. It was only in that moment that it occurred to me that our artillery truly had been fighting almost non stop for some time now. Of course, the distant, if not consent, grumbling paled in comparison to the actual impacts we faced on the battlefield. I had long learned to put the noise out of my mind, but perhaps hearing had just gone that bad. Do you perhaps know how long this will continue? I'm not going to say that until the Major decides, because I can't spell military secrets. Yeah, I'm not spilling military secrets to you, woman. Oh boy, everyone's upset, aren't they? Everyone's depressed because of the trade that I made. They can just all deal with it. Let's see. We still haven't been resupplied. Okay. Okay. So that's unfortunate. So let's see. We have a few prisoners of war in our camp. Guarding until they can be moved to a prison. Until then. Okay. But of course, my good man. See, he likes me. Okay, so guard the captives. Come on. How's he doing? He's doing really good. He's still well rested. Because he's physically fit. He's more strong. See, it's not a very cumbersome. Let's see, Menke. There we go. Hospital. Field kitchen. Okay, rations. We're gonna have to move the standard rations. Passing by the temporary enclosure holding the captured French soldiers, saw Khan fraternizing with the prisoners. Though he clearly did not speak their language, he managed to communicate successfully. Mystery. Quietly tolerated. Had not been a one off. Interesting. Khan. The story stays with Field Hospital. Okay. I just helped carry one of the wounded. Couldn't make it on its own to the Field Hospital. The injured are everywhere and the beds are overflowing already. She's told me to drop them off forever and then it's not. I know. Uh, I will look into it. Like 
messed up. Oh my gosh, people. Okay, pest control. Pest control. Who else do we need to talk to? Pass with guard do doherty. Guard doherty? Guard doherty. Okay. Okay, the hospital is also overburdened. If not done this turn, so let's go. trip to the pub. Nail wants to go to the pub and then guard duty. All right, we'll do that. I'll just have to work on the field hospital next turn, maybe. Sunday service usually lifts the streets camp, especially among the more religious. See, we've already gone a month into this offensive. Two months. Accordingly, I was relieved when a military chaplain finally came by and many of the soldiers rushed the object. Usual cummerbund was first among the pious great noble services. Still, as our small procession passed me by, he took the time for a brief chat to tell me, you know, her officer, I think I could lead a sermon too. Before I came here, I studied theology after all, and we would no longer have to wait for another man to undertake. Why not? Why not? All right. For hurrying away, catch up with the other soldiers. Hey, I mean, why not? All right, let's see. We need to work on with the field hospital. Current workload. Offer assistance. Accept. Okay. So as many men as I can spare, we were able the rats keep coming. Sunny, hospital overburdened. Let's see. Uh, all right. Pest control, latrine duty. I guess marching orders. We go to battle soon, about time. Alright, so... Alright. So it's like double tiring, so we need to give... It's very unpleasant. Mail, you're gonna have to do latrine duty. Okay, let's see. Okay, Khan, you wanted to help with the hospital. That's what you're doing, my boy. Uh, let's see, we'll put Peterson. Nick, you'll go there. You'll go there. You, we need you completely healed and rested as much as possible. So you'll continue to rest. The rest have their duties. Let's get it. All right, one of my men had previous work as a master brewer since he joined our troop. He often seemed to be thinking about his family and other brewery, and the brewery at home. He told everyone, whether they wanted to hear it or not, about his plans after the war. Okay. I'll let him talk. Just let him vent. Let him vent a little bit. Ah, yeah, see, look, no harm in holding on to the hope that he'd soon be able to return to his normal life, I thought to myself. Joined the conversation, I took my leave and returned to my own tasks. Alright. Tuesday, March 11th, 1915. We were preparing for the imminent operation a few days from now. The mood was tense enough, but it seemed to weigh particularly hard on Mayo. When he heard of our upcoming plan, he turned pale, and fear had no and the fear had not left his eyes since. Everything alright. Look, to be honest, no. I thought of going to battle and possibly never return. Just... We have to learn to live with this fear. There's no way around the bit. So, I know. I just... With those words, he turned away and left. I mean, that's the harsh reality of the war, man. Everyone's afraid. You gotta live with it. 
Schmittenbauer, what a name, was sitting in front of his tent, polishing his boots with dedication. Nursing came up, piling watch for a bit before asking, Why do you even bother? You're just gonna get dirty again. Butter frowned. So do clothes and homes. Still, you clean those, don't you? Peterson shrugged. But those don't get dirty every other step. Our boots do. Especially in this mud. Besides, who am I supposed to impress with my shiny boots around here? Hearing that, Schmidbunner paused, laid down his cleaning rag, and locked eyes with Peterson. His expression somber and grave. Honor demands that a German soldier is to represent the Vaterland at all times with a contemptuous downward gaze he added and your boots are a disgrace to the Vaterland. Peterson rolled his eyes to dismissively. It was when that it was then that he noticed me and for a moment where he flashed across his face. Her aunt officer. The Vaterland does not concern itself with your boots. Huh. Clean your dirty boots. I low-key agree with Schmidt Bauer a little bit as you were that's kind of the cop out let's clean your dirty boots nice bro yeah I agree like cleanliness like you gotta look somewhat professional and tomorrow we march into battle announced Lieutenant von Kaiserbach he had summoned all his subordinate officers to discuss the upcoming operation but feared they were palpable but most of them did their best to cover it up with their heads high and chest puffed with pride. The goal of our mission is to conquer and hold the next trench line, the lieutenant explained the plan. So far, there is no difference to most attack plans, but we have an ace up our sleeve. Our artillery is in position, just waiting to cut off reinforcements from the enemy. I expect you to use this to your advantage aggressively and decisively. Do not disappoint me. At your command, lieutenant, the officers around me. At your command, lieutenant. Satisfied. Looted and dismissed us. So to battle we go. We're in an excellent mood. We are in an excellent mood. And we're with high prestige with our commanding officer. Which is very nice. So now we'll move on. Once again, back to the trenches. There's a corpse right there. Here come the Frenchies. All groups are in position. The attack can be forward march over the river. go baby here we go all right so let's see we got an advance there we've got an advance an advance let's see i am afraid an obstacle of moderate cover i don't want us to be quite out in the open just yet so let's advance into the trench line first, this first turn. That way we're not just outright exposing ourselves. Right. So let's fire some general suppression for our boys moving forward. Then we'll move up with everything else. Alright, so that was a good decision. Alright, so it looks like things are open on the right side. I say we advance to the right. On the right side. There's like two other squadrons over here. So this might be a good way for us to push. Movement, movement, go, 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 go. That puts us in a huge line of danger. That gives us moderate cover. Let's see. This, gives us, this actually gives us pretty decent cover, I think. Us moving to the left. Now the fighting's over on the right hand side. But there's going to be an opening in the trench moving over. So I think if we move right here, this also has fire. Equipment advantages can be found. Very low danger. We'll move right there because it's got options to find equipment. So 
that's where we to. So we can search a knapsack real quickly. Okay, so we don't want you to do this. Peterson, you're going to search the knapsack. Everyone else is going to offer the first thing. All stay together. I'm actually kind of okay with that. So hopefully we find some good things here. We've lost some soldiers on the left flank, it looks like. Let's see. We're able to find some ammunition. That's perfect. So let's see. Low danger. Direct firefight. Removable obstacle and rough terrain. Alright, we're gonna adjust to the right flank. That's where we're gonna move to. We're gonna stick to the right of this, this group right here. We'll control and hold down the right flank. That's where they're moving towards too. So this is a, a perfect move. A perfect little maneuver. Alright, and so then we can offer. Let's go with a tactical movement here. Or let's just suppress. Let's just keep suppressing. We're offering good covering fire. Okay. String caution is advised. Fix the rifle jam. Another said should take care of it. Alright. Okay. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep offering covering fire. I think it's the best thing to do is just continue to lay down covering fire on the enemy. Enemy's getting reinforcements. Alright, let's advance. Try to catch up. We fell a little bit behind, but we're not too bad. Still fixing the dang, okay. That's fine. See tactical. Okay, you advance into the trenches. There's literally a French soldier right there. So we don't want to retreat. See we can move tactically over here. And this will give our character some time to pick some stuff up because he'll be able to we're gonna search this corpse. Potentially. Alright, so he's caught up with us. Nail. Right is working again. Which one of you is the keener of the bunch? Okay, you're pretty keen. There we go. Everyone else offers suppressive fire. We should be able to make a run for the trenches. Okay, so we can let's advance 
this up. We can cut this barbed wire, maybe. Cut it completely. Okay. Cut the barbed wire. We gotta cut it. That was very unfortunate. Alright, we've got some wounded Germans here. This is not good. Retreat. We didn't need it. Ah, uh, we didn't get in in time. Dang. So we got to retreat. That gum it. That's the thing. Alright. Alright, we'll find advance forward so then we can try to get in some cover fire. This is so unfortunate. fire. We got a few more soldiers that are trying to get out of the trenches. If we could have won that battle or not. Alright, so. Alright, now let's just let's just get out of here. Fall back to our trenches. That's a tough one. I can't believe we lost that. Uh-oh. And the game froze. Oh, man. We lost that bad. Oh, nope. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say we lost so bad that the site froze. Okay. Tire exhausted. We had that time. It's not your men. You're lectured. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Or vigor. Here's his lection at the end. Promise again to do better in the future. So, I mean, just 
we take we take our licking from the from the from the officer. Place it the rest of our stock of water to all whistling, lost in thought when our eyes met. He hesitated for a brief, unsure moment before muttering a friendly. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're like, praise him, thank the soldier. He just he helped the unit. So he's off preparing for a church service. Let's see if we can offer offer assistance. Uh, okay. Some patrols through the village. Okay. So, assistant hospital. So, you're going to assist with the hospital because that's like the thing that you've been loving to do. Okay. You're going to go in the village. I think May should go to the village too, perhaps. Uh, here, I'm gonna send the rest of you guys to help in there. Just really alleviate the pressure at the hospital. Saturday, we got almost trust my own eyes. I cannot help but wonder if that boy was old enough to be drafted. He was short. His shoulders. I felt the impulse to look out for him. That seemed to... But his confidence quickly returned to flourish. You mean to question the recruitment officer that considered... <laughs> For a moment, that seemed so, like that. I told him, "Keep the." I gave the young man an encouraging pat on the back before letting him go. <laughs> All right. When I faced Soldier Schmidt alone for the first time, he stood in front of me. Your orders, Harold. You can count on me. He spoke clearly. All right. Very well, Soldier. Do not disappoint me. I won't. He said, "You and I." We have to keep the group in line. I left it at that. Alright. That was a little bit too far. Probably shouldn't have let that slide. Alright, so let's hide all of that. Got a bunch of people that want to talk to us. Leaving our comrades in the trenches. Make sure your people are ready to march when the time comes. The train is filled. All right, who gets the latrine duties? Yeah, you get the latrine duties <laughs> for what you did. So one more turn to the trenches, everyone. Let's just rest up a bit. Village outskirts. Exhausting. There you go. You can go out and help them. Anyone else? Ah, we'll just leave it at that. Because I think we're going to the trenches next. Turn. Yikes, he is not in a good mood. Now. 
Have your people ready. It's back to the trenches. Enjoy. All right, back into the trenches we go. We'll probably go one more time through the trenches, and that'll probably do it for this episode. Very long episode, a little over an hour long, but... All right, so we're back in the trenches once again. Me and my let's see, one, two, six comrades. Okay, we have rations for two days. Good. What do you think? We want to play a little trick on the French sim. So we ran out of the no man's land tonight and cut through the barbed wire just outside the French trenches. The French will think we're preparing to attack. Them. Dare to sleep. All right. So risk of injury is high. I'm going to send you out there, and I want to send... I may actually send... Mail out as well. I think I will. And then... Let's see, defensive position. It's just... Okay, it's just a random defensive position. Okay, so to the dugout. I think we should probably send... You, you, and we may send a third. Pedersen out there. We got eight turns until we go back to camp. Okay, so cut the barbed wire. My two guys. One's both high dexterity, so that's good news. So that's what we'll do. Three guys going to get rations. One guy to kind of just stay behind. Never know. Fetch drain trenches, fetch ammunition. So it looks like it's raining quite a bit, maybe? So I carried out. It's wounded in the process. I think. Go easy on me the next few days. Okay. So he is just lightly wounded. So we won't do much with him. So let's see. Drain the trench. Already strained, bro. Just like the trenches. If you go, if you go, and Peterson, you go. Just continue to collect. We've got a bunch of food now, and we've got a bunch of ammunition. So let's see. The French have a sniper in the area. Already shot some of our comrades. We should be extra careful in the near future. The commander operation of the French have holes in the barbed wire. Some people out tonight to fix it. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm gonna have to send you out there. So, okay. Okay, we have a ton of ammunition up here. Like, for, so I kept seeing a French soldier with binoculars in the scout. Started looking just for the artillery, started firing at Izzy. Suppress the artillery observer. That consumes ammunition. High risk of injury. yet? No. Good night. I was wounded in the process. Who all is wounded? So I've got three men that are wounded. Alright, you've got to go. you got to go help. Tables, chairs, beds. 
weren't if I weren't so busy, I would personally keep inventory and make sure. Oh my gosh, really? Delay will have consequences. I mean there. I mean we've we've got to. I know you're wounded, but you just gotta make it through it. And he's in the field hospital. Fantastic. He got injured, didn't he? Rations for two days. Was injured trying to carry out your orders. We took it. Didn't look too bad. I think we'll recover. Okay. Come on, he wants to talk to me. Back a few times. He learned and let his comrades cover him. Message to headquarters. So that your quickest man on the double. Come on. Okay, everyone's gotta go out. I know we're wounded. I know this is bad. But we've gotta do everything we can. Rations for two days removed. We have three more days until is you usual lately. I have a bad feeling about this. I think we should keep an eye on that and make sure they don't surprise on us. Recon, big risk of injury, but it's like all the people that have keen, sharp eyes are wounded or tired. And I say that, it's only one person. Uh, he's, he will be good for the recon. Con's the only one that's not injured, so... Gotta do what he can do. Let's just hope he doesn't get killed. And he got he got wounded. He got wounded, yeah. But he didn't look good when I last saw him. Oh no! Menke, no. Alright, we're just gonna move on to the next day. We're not gonna fetch ammunition. We have plenty of it. are gathering an attack stand ready oh boy we are wounded we are down two soldiers in the field hospital this is going to be rough. Okay. so it is hold defensive position Tactical movement. Maybe? Let's see. We could always fall back. We could always retreat. Let's say we just, let's just hold positions. Let's fire him. They're looking directly at us.
firing. There's a soldier in the trash with us! He walked right past you! What are you doing? Out of ammo. We need this to end. Please. Says here. Here we go. We get supplies. Retreating back. I guess I should have been paying attention to that. All right. Everyone else, take cover. Search for supplies. Keep doing this. Eventually. Eventually. 
eventually it'll get done. That's pretty close. Okay. Okay, no. That was just a risk of injury. Tactical movement. Alright, so let's get us back up to the front here. Looks like we can search for some supplies as well. in close quarters combat range. Okay, we're like tactically retreating. I guess I'm just like a little bit confused. Let's tactically move here. I kind of am a little bit confused. This battle is going on for a very long time. And we're retreating. Let's see. Look at that. Okay. Whatever. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Okay. We did it. Many, many minutes later. Gotta be bugged. Oh nope, there we go. Okay, so is it over? Can we end this please? I'm out of ammo. Thank God, next level. Holy crap. That took forever. Let's see what the aftermath is for us two men in the field hospital all right our time to to rest on our laurels expect full commitment air officer so many dead and wounded We'll look after your two men for our resources. Okay, we'll offer assistance. I know your guys are exhausted, but this is going to help. Hey boy. I'm gonna feel it's been a chaotic couple hours, but I'm back now. 
bad. Let's see. Rations. All right, we're gonna double the rations. Wait, maybe once or twice. To the next day. Any days with some rest. Alright, we'll get through this and we'll probably eat it, so. You're aware. What is it? Hell down. Extreme. I'll have to throw it away. I lowered my gaze. Baskets of baked goods at his feet. The warehouse was still well stocked. Mold everywhere. Clean the stains. Goods. Get rid of it. Better safe than sorry. What a waste. I agree. What a waste. The temporary enclosure. Picking. The guard. He'd taken a bucket of water meant for the holding of the ladle just outside the reach of the desperate. Ah. So now three men are at the field hospital. Okay, so now we're on low stock supplies. That is now suffering from the trade provisions. If you give me, I have a man bigger for every rations. Uh, ask for a favor. Because our food supplies are low. I wonder how my soldiers up here are doing. I'll talk to them. I have to say, as if I'm already dead. I don't know yet. Yikes. I think I'm getting better. Ah, oh, Cumberbunch is hurt. I just don't know yet. Oh, that's fantastic. That's just fantastic. Right. I think we rest up, everyone. We don't do anything. No extra workloads, nothing. Dairy, he was trying. Stu kept peering into the place. Open enough meat in this person. Kind of thing that you talk to me in the future, absolutely. Meet. We have to carefully manage our supplies. I mean, that's true. But I'm from. We are Danes. As if that we are German now. Now we're in the same boat. I said and put my hand on his shoulders. I hope you see it the same way. Peterson nodded. Seemed a little mechanical, and I could tell he was still very unsure. It would certainly take some time to gain his trust. In any case, he was very, very obviously aware that my gesture did not change anything. Empty cookware. I mean, yeah. A trip to the pub. Send them all to the pub. 
Send all three of them to the pub. Very nice. They have a low stock of supplies. They can go to the pub. Ah. Alright, I'm exceptional prestige. We will skip out on this patrol and go to the pub. And I'll deal with the consequences the next day. Sorry, brother. But here, everyone can go to the kitchen. We will double the rations. Double the rations, I believe. It's not a lot. So we'll make everyone feel just a tad bit better. So we have an engagement in one turn. I think we're going to stop it right there. Because this has been a very long episode. It's probably going to be well over an hour and a half long. But anyway, guys, thank you for so... Oh, let me rephrase that. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of All Quiet in the Trenches. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new episode drops. This is Jackson Law from Vendetta Sports Media. Signing off and I will see you guys next time.